All right, people, welcome back. More daily duels. So today is Friday, and that means that we are using uh, the 3.5 axis fire fist. So I think I got the play. So when you get tanks, you activate tanky. Yeah, yeah, I do. Have the access plays. Oh, evil swan. Okay, I guess. I mean, sure. The. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, Let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and bait him before I feel like overextending or doing any plays, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and activate Tanky, you have the MST. Anyway, as you can tell by the title, I'm trying I'm not gonna I'm gonna try to actually talk while doing this video so it pretty much just doesn't turn into uh, Daniel Duel and then talk at the end of the video. I hate when I do that. I should be able to multitask and uh, do two things at once. I should be able to talk and pay attention to the duel at the same time. But hey, if the duel gets so intense and I need to focus, then hey, you know. Anyway, as you can tell by the title, I just have my calculus final, and that's pretty much the end of the semester. Uh, calculus final wasn't as hard as the third test, you know, uh, just because the third test was really difficult for me. There's a couple things I didn't understand, and <clears throat> it brought my grade down. A nice chunk like that I like a B on the test when I usually get over a hundred percent so um, I didn't she offered extra credit I didn't get any of it right you know and that hurt because you know I didn't get any extra credit you no know? oh now you want to play the MST like okay <clears throat> oh, I played as soon as I you know as soon as the tanky was activated but sure that's fine As soon as the tanky was activated, I was like, MST? Like, why would, why would you all want to allow me to get a plus? Like, hey, you want to go ahead and MST the Tensu? More power to you. More power to you, more power to you. I don't know who this evil son is. Oh, okay, I guess. I've never seen that guy before, so. No, I'll take all that. I'm not really worried about these two right now. I'm more worried about the background I'm getting warmed up right now, but these two, nah, I can kill them. Thunderbird, I mean, he might be kind of a difficult just because he'll keep popping out of the way, but I don't even know who this guy is. Yeah. I'm definitely going to kill him, though. Like, he's going to be dead. Okay, now you're going to XE. Go ahead and go into Opion. Uh, that's fine. Do you have it? No, you don't. All right. Then shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was like, do you have the pandemic to stop me from stopping you from starting the pandemic? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, now you are in a nice seeping helping the trouble. I really hope that your two pieces of back row can stop me because now I am in control of the door. That's the problem with Xing is that you neg. So... And once you're two monsters that you were, yeah, there was really no point for you to kind of overextend and push like that. There really wasn't, but you decided to go ahead and do it, so, okay. That's fine. But I'm the one in control of the situation right now. Even now, I'm still in control of the situation. The only way you can get back in control of the situation is if you summon a, summon a Thunderbird, but I'm still a 17 beater, so. I'm still trying to figure out, oh, oh, did anybody see that coming? Attributing it for fucking this guy. You can have that. I don't even want to mad at. Alright. See you later, sir. Uh, I'm going to mirror force that because I'm going to go ahead and switch this. This with this. For a Goyoku. And then I'll start being up again. No. Yes. Yes. I'll do that. Say so no, uh, yes, yes, I actually do want an air force. Hey, if you want to use the pandemic now, hey, more power to you. That's one less card I gotta worry about dealing with right now, so. I said, I'm up on resources, I'm controlling still. Yeah, with the calculus final, you know, it had pretty much a nice chunk of everything. It, it, surprisingly, it was actually, oh, it's gonna get a good okay, anyway. Surprisingly, it was the shortest out of all the tests. That's That's the funny thing. Out of all the tests, it was definitely the shortest. 
Once per turn, you can target one level five or higher non. Because I'm not gonna destroy all. That's only during your turn, so. So I'm not even worried about that. Let's go ahead and go into. You're only 2150? Yeah, so Horse Prince will be stronger than you. I was thinking about going into uh, Vulcan, but it's not necessary. Yeah. Oh. Uh, go ahead and summon me. You. See, this is why I don't like playing multiple with him. It's kind of, he's kind of like the 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 messenger lotto in Madoches. I don't want to summon him from the deck, you know. I don't want to summon him from my hand. There's really no point in summoning him from my hand. You know? I'd rather summon him from my deck, right? Because you know that double effect that you get. You know, what do I get? What do I benefit from freaking normal summoning him? Besides the switch off, you know. When he's special summoned, I get to go ahead and search and plus and gain resources and just whoop that ass. You know, and I prefer to just whoop that ass. So yeah, you're in deep shit. I'm in complete control of this duel now. Even you top decking the dark hall won't save you. Uh, you may be up on life points, but you guys not a game about life points. I know it's not. It's about resources. But uh, yeah, surprisingly, it was actually the shortest test. Like usually, it took the first test it didn't take me all the class. The second test it took me all the class. The third test it took me all the class. This test. No, it didn't take me all the class. It definitely did not. And it took me like maybe I want to say half of the class. Lock it down. Lock it down. I guess I'll go ahead and tag out you because you know, once again you're just a useless ass tanky. Ooh, I might have an interesting play. If I go Tensu and I go Summon Summon, then I can go ahead and go into Cardinal. Ooh, and I rarely get to go into Cardinal. Yeah, you know what, sure. Let's do that. I said, I'm all found resources. I can fuck around. Let me see, what does Cardinal say? Let's just try to target one turn. And target two cards your opponent's favor are face up on the side of the field. Okay, so you're not like Tiramisu. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. That's totally fine. So, so go ahead and get all the damage in because it really doesn't matter. Go ahead and have Bear throw a chair because he's playing Batty with Storm Strings. So he probably has some kind of flip monster that will wreck me, so. Eh. No, I wasn't about that, and I believe that's game, sir. So, I didn't really get to make use of Cardinal. Oh, yeah, sir. Bear, go ahead. Give me another tanky. Like, look at this. I'm so up. So uh, this video is going totally fine for uh, Firefist last video. It says next week I'm going to go ahead and take this deck off because it's linear. We get the gist of the plays. So there, yeah, I beat Evil Swarm. Surprise, surprise! Firefist beat Evil Swarm. Are you shocked? No, not really. All right, so let's go ahead and get another duel in. Bear back. All right. And so you know I'm fairly confident that I'm going to. Uh, uh, get an A in the class. Like I calculated it, I need I needed like a 63% on the final to get an A in the class, and no, that's not too difficult, right? <laughs> so let's see. Oh, D D D D D D D D D D. Are you gonna fusion? What's the point? Like maybe it's just me, but what's the point? Of doing that play, I don't really care about the Covenant of the Swamp at all. Like I say, if you're gonna activate it and not even fuse, then I don't even fucking care, you know? Shuffle three GG monsters from your hand, fill your graveyard, or do you click your pen and then add uh, That is a. Okay. Yeah. Some super dead in the beginning of the duel. Super dead. I don't want to do this, but then I kind of want to do this, and I hope that that card is in like a mirror force or something. Because I want to do this because I want to get that direct hit in with Bear. But not since I freed you up. Okay. Well, you like that guy in the graveyard anyway, because you like to summon that one teeth guy to go ahead and summon him back. So, so hopefully I get my direct attack in. Yes, I do. Awesome. Uh, well, I'm sitting okay right now, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab the, another Gwayoku and then, and then lock it down. Relock it down. There we go. 
guess it was like an end phase MST or something along those lines. Like, you know, I'd rather keep those vanities right now. So you go ahead and take your thousand. See, what was the point of activating it? You couldn't. Oh, because you want to go ahead and summon him. All right, monster effect. You take damage. Oh, you special summon this card. You do gain life points. Even so, any damage you take. Uh, no, I'm gonna vanity you. Too. Like, how about you know some? You start a chain, so stay in the hand. So that's what you wanted to do. That's why you summoned him. That's cute, but no. Wow, this is getting wolf bark. Just fuck you again for seventeen. Ah, it feels so good to be in control of the duel. You know what? I've ever been in control of a duel. I love control decks. So, you're top decking. And you're still taking this thousand. That's the funny thing. You activate, yup. You activated this. Just to keep it like, summon him. And I'm like, nah, vanity. And you're just like, fuck. <laughs> so, I fucked you. I fucked you nice and good and hard all night long. Hello? <laughs> oh, that was a quick duel. Let me go ahead and get another one in. Bear right back. Yeah, so I'm pretty confident I got it. A in calculus. Uh, algebra. Algebra. I didn't tell you about my algebra final, which really wasn't a final. It was. Did I say first or second? I said I said first out of habit. Damn it. That's fine. I did. I said first out of habit. I'm so used to just saying, yeah, I'll go first when I don't want to go first with this deck. I generally like to go second. Oops. Cause I like I love one first. First, it's like yeah. Not with this deck. This deck, you know, I like to do. I like to do plays that I uh, to hinder my opponent by going second. Like you know, bear throw a chair, fuck you up. You know, I'd like to allow you to get set up and you do your plays first before you know. Oh, that's fine. So it's black wings, definitely black wings. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to think. What do I want to MST? No, I'll allow that. That's fine. You want to go ahead and summon a clue? I don't care. I don't care. I'm waiting for you to, like, set some back row, because I'd rather get an Icarus attack than get, you know, the black row right now. I'm not really worried about that. <sighs> not really worried about that at all. Icarus attack is a scary card right now. Oh. Okay, I guess. Please set more back row, because if it's just one, then I'm definitely going to space it. Okay, so... Okay. Alright. I guess. I don't know what you're doing. You're, you're overextending and doing all these unnecessary plays for nothing. Like, what was the point of going into nothing right now? Nothing. There's no reason, you know? Okay. Okay, so you're gonna go into Hot Joe, and then Joe's gonna summon you back your nothing, right? Okay, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Oops. I guess this is this is like the back alley Blackwing plays that he's doing right now. These are not the plays that you generally see when it comes to Blackwings. It's a nice chunk of damage. Hmm. Now he's set two cards. Wow, he's overextending. Mm hmm. So I guess in. Oh, that's fine. There's probably not a lot of cards that are weaker than Blizzard. Oh, really? I did not know the attack of that. I thought the guy was like 1400. That's actually a pretty good get. Are you done? Are you done, sir? Are you gonna attack? I'm gonna force the shit out of you. You are extended, like, mwah. So. so now I definitely know one of those cards is a Nicarus attack. 
Just question is which one? Got all these tensions and nothing to do with them yet. So I want to go ahead and guess this one. Nope, I was wrong. Ah, well, if that's an Icarus attack, then I'm probably gonna get it. I don't have a lot of monsters. This is Icarus attack, isn't it? Oh, you wanna wait for me to get my monster, huh? Yeah, it'd be best if I get bear right now. So if my play goes off right now, then I'm in control of the duel, so... But I'm probably not. It's probably a curse attack, and I just MST the wrong fucking card, which should just be like the tits. But the tits, I mean, it would suck ass. Oh. Now, a curse attack. Tell me, tell me, did I space the wrong card? Tell me right now, did I space the wrong card? I had a 50 50 chance. I hate that shit. Did the same thing as a, in a duel against Firefest. I had a 50 50 chance and I spaced the wrong fucking card. No, it's Book of Moon. Hmm. Okay, I guess. This is still a bad situation. His attack is 12. You can't. And so he's pretty much top deck. He's top deck into a situation to get around my bear. But if he top, I am also top deck, and this this duel's not going. Well. I didn't open up well enough. Oh, fuck. Which probably means that he'll be easily he'll easily get a a black wing that's strong enough to get over my bear. Fuck. Oh, come on, God. Give me like, really. Open up terrible. Like double tensu. Like awesome. I got no fucking monsters. God, fuck. Yeah, I guess it could be worse. Could have been, actually, I, you know what? I'd rather it have been a fucking Icarus attack. This is just, this just sucks right now. Because I am top decking. Like, literally, if I don't top deck into, like, a tanky or something, I need top deck into either, no, either another tanky. I, I run the wolf bark, so I would gladly take a wolf bark right now. Wolf bark, tanky. I have a couple of cards I can draw into. That would just be awesome. So, I would really prefer to take them right now. I know your entire and all the cards that you have right now. So this would be a great time for me to go ahead. Yes, thank you. Thank you. The only problem is, is that I gotta deal with the Bora, which I don't want to deal with the Bora because I'd rather just, you know, search with a uh, Tiger King, but of course then I attack and then I get fucking uh, wrecked. Actually, no, because I can go summon you, you summon you, go into Tiger King, Tiger King Go ahead and get me Tenki to activate Tenki, get another bear, activate Tensu, Tensu summon bear, bear throw the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew, that was a beautiful top deck. But hey, he top decked the pot and allowed him to get it, so. This is an intense duel. This is an intense duel, I must say. This is a lot, it's a lot more an edge than I really want to be. Yes. No. Go ahead and give me that tanky. Activate that tanky. Give me a yes. Thank you. The, the tensu is coming through. Give me another bear. Just go bear to the chair. I know the two cards that you have in your hand right now, so. Go ahead and additional normal summon. Whew! Okay, so the tanky. Right now I'm sitting pretty pretty well right now. So once again it's still a top deck off, so give me another tanky. Get me in this duel with resources. Because a few dark holes and I'm at a monsters again, so I'd rather go ahead and just get my shit again. Yeah, out of a final, it really wasn't a final, it was really like, instead of doing a cumulative final, he just did uh, four different tests, so he took his class, split up into four different parts, and then he just tested you on each part. Simple as that. Uh, yeah, I 100 percent of his class. Like, not, no, I didn't A his class, like, oh yeah, no. Every single thing that I did in his class, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, probably pissed me the fuck off, really. 
But of course, you know, if I'm not doing well in a fucking algebra class, wow, nice top deck. <laughs> we are just top decking. <laughs> mm -hmm. It might be best to go ahead and go for the vanities right now because he's probably going to go ahead and exit on me. If you want to tackle over me, hey, more power to you. Go ahead, come on. But uh, I'd rather you not uh, exit on me. Even though I'm still in a fucking deep shit of trouble because his top deck definitely outweighed my top deck. Do this. I can do this. I can do this. I just need to think. I just need to think. I have, I have another tanky. I have another tensu. Stopped his plays. All he has is the is the panaka in his hand. So if I kill these two, he's already used the clue. I just need to kill these two. Get these two off the field, and I'm golden. But how do I want to do it? How do I, how do I want to do it? That's the question. Oh, uh, am I activating tanky? Go ahead and searching for. Uh, Actually, you know what? I think I might do a play that I generally don't do. I might go activate Tanky. Tanky, search for Gorilla. Summon Gorilla. Gorilla, throw the Tanky at the Black World and XC these two into a Cardinal. Detach, return my Tankies, and then return these two back to the deck. Yeah, that is a totally fine play. But yeah, all I need to do is think. So where are you, my friend Gorilla? Like, we're gonna get rid of that black world because that, that thing's been like a bane of my existence so far, so. So we'll go ahead and have uh, Gorilla. Go ahead and get rid of the tanky to get rid of your whirlwind. You don't need that. Then we'll go ahead and XC into Cardinal, who we rarely use, but he's a very powerful card. Cardinal. Activate Cardinal. Oh, I forgot. See, so yes, de detach both into us. Return all. Return my tankies. Return my tankies. I need them for later. And return these two back to death. Got my field. Then I can go ahead and additional normal summon you. <laughs> Activate you and switch off my that for this. I can only activate one tanky per turn, and I already activated it. That's fine. Not game yet. So, let's see what you can top deck. Are we gonna top deck into miracles? Let me see that top deck. Let me see that top deck. Let me see that top deck. I'm still in deep shit because I got this tanky, so I can go ahead and search for more plays, so. Uh, it's MST, uh, no, it's not a Geki, it's not a Dark Hole. Alright, you're gonna go ahead and summon Panaka. I'm assuming that you drew into another clue. Yep. Uh, it was a top deck, but not good enough. Yeah, uh, sorry, if this is it, I win. You top deck, I mean. You top that, but just it wasn't. There really wasn't a correct answer, really. Hmm. Well, I can go for the three axis play now, so I guess I'll go ahead and have fun and do it. So, yeah, I'm I'm pretty confident that you know, I'm 100% the algebra class. I'm pretty confident I got an a calculus class. Uh, the online class, the online class. Uh, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let me go ahead and just take the final. Why not? And summon you. Activate you, Chippy Choo, go ahead and get me. It doesn't fucking matter. It really doesn't. Yeah, go ahead and grab me another tanky. Activate you, summon you, activate you, summon you. Let's just go for the three axis play because we haven't done it all, all this duel, so. This is a good duel. <coughs> this 
yeah, this is a good game, I must say. I will say, I will say GG to this one. It's, it was definitely hard for me to keep control of this duel the entire time, so I will admit that you put up a good fight. Just, you know, these three axis plays plus so goddamn much that it's just kind of stupid that they do that shit. So I'm just doing plays just to do plays at this point, grabbing a Yoku, even though he really didn't set much. I said, I did hit the wrong card. I'd much rather hit the the Book of Moon than hit the than the hit the pot, you know. Especially since he drew another pot anyway, you know. So it's big come like through one pot per turn. So I'd rather go ahead and hit that Book of Moon because that Book of Moon hit him in my place from the start. So I did MST the wrong card like usual, fifty fifty, and I always you know, my luck's pretty bad. <sighs> anyway, uh, the online class I decided to go ahead and take the final. I only. 15 questions, 1 point each, so 15 points, and uh, I only needed 4 points to get an A in the class. So I went ahead and took the test, of course, cheated, looked up, there was a couple of the answers that were still, a couple of the answers were taken from the previous tests and quizzes that we took, straight off of it, so literally when I slapped it into Google, the answers popped right up again. Some of them I couldn't find, I uh, ended up getting a 9 out of 15, fine, so I got an A. And then literally, the teacher was so into just grading the test you know, grading and get our grades in early. That she pretty much said, hey, if you get your test, uh, all your work in by uh, midnight on Friday, I will give you five points extra credit. Like, the final was worth 15 and you're going to give us five points extra credit? So there we go. You get, uh, you automatically get a fucking 33% on your goddamn final. Like, yo, like she's off, she offered so much extra credit. It wasn't even, it was nothing. So I got my five points extra credit and my final grade is like 100.7% in the class because of all that fucking extra credit. So even when I didn't do shit correctly and I ended up getting like an F and shit on my project, I still ended up acing the class, so there we go. So uh, yeah, I got all A's this semester. Yay, all A's. I'm gonna tell my mommy. <laughs> uh, hello, I'm fucking turning 21 in less than, a, in less than a month and I'm acting like this, hello. So um, yeah, that's the end of the semester, that's it. So. Uh, yay, summer. And by summer, I mean, I don't have much long. I don't really have much of a break until I go back. Uh, the I actually have summer classes. Uh, they start on June 1st. Uh, I have two summer classes, but they're online, so it's not like I gotta go down. Because when I saw them, it was, it was like double the amount. Usually, you either have like, you know, one class, or you either have uh, a class that's three hours long, one day a week, or you have a class that's an hour and a half long, two days a week, except for calculus, which is actually two hours long, two days a week, because, you know, it's a harder class. But there's generally the amount of time uh, for, you know, regular class. Man, these summer classes, they were like, hey, you're either going to go two days a week for three hours, or you're going to go four days a week for an hour and a half. I'm like, or I could just take online classes. That's not, yeah, yeah. So I have two online classes. It cost me an arm and a leg. I had, I had to put it on my credit card. And uh, yay, I'm back in debt. Yay, because they don't give me money over the summer for uh, financial aid. So I had to pay for that myself. So when I get my money uh, in the fall semester from a financial aid, I'm just totally going to slap off I and mean, you know, pay off my credit card. My credit is really good because I, I you know, buy things in my credit card and I pay it off. And, you know, and I never miss payments. So, yeah. My credit's good, yay, I can buy a house or get a loan or something. Mortgage, mortgage yay, on my teacher salary. Anyway, I have two classes. Uh, one is Nevada history. Yeah, I already took out regular history, but I got to take fucking Nevada history. I didn't even know Nevada had a history. Nevada hasn't even existed for long enough to even have that class. It's only like, I think it's like a, it's either a four, one of the classes is a four-week class and one of the classes is a six-week class. So they're not that long, you know, they're absolute, and they're online. So they're absolutely not that long. But, uh, yeah, uh, Nevada history, take that, it's required. And then my other class is my education class, the one that I dropped because I said, fuck that shit. It's not the same teacher. It's actually, it's, it's culture diversity, but it's taught by a black teacher who prefers black people. Like, nice. Okay. <laughs> so there we go. And then after that, in the fall semester, I only have one class left. It's uh, my final education class, my education portfolio. That class is like super short. Like there, there's only three classes open. There's an online one and there's two in-class ones. The in-class ones are literally one day a week for an hour and a half for only half a semester. Like, yeah, that's it. But guess who's fucking teaching it? 
Yeah, my the teacher that I have right now, the one who offers a whole bunch of extra credit. Yeah, her. She's the only teacher that teaches it. So, yeah. Pretty much, uh, it's an education portfolio. You take all the artifacts from previous classes, slap into a folder, and then I think you gotta do like some presentation or speech or something. I don't know. But, yeah. And then I gotta take my praxis test, the teacher test that they call it. Take that, you know, and uh, then I'll have my associate's degree. So, there we go. So everything in my life is going pretty chill. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. I said, no more in class for me right now, so. I get to stay home, chill, and do YouTube videos for you guys. Yay! You know. <laughs> so, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, hopefully tagging with Slate and Omega Chaos. You know, they, those two have been kind of off lately. They've been gone. And like I said, I set a new rule when it comes to tag partners. If they're not at, on an hour before the video is supposed to go up, they're not getting the tag video because I don't want to rush myself. You know, I'd rather just, you know, take it slow and be do things on time then rush myself and try to get everything up on on time because they're late so and, I, and i'm not saying that in case and, and say you're always late i'm just saying this goes for all tech partners so anyway call the video so thanks for watching thanks for all support and i will see you guys tomorrow with hopefully a mega cast slate all right people thanks for watching